How's it going guys? Welcome to a uh, the first video of me actually speaking and being on camera. In about a week and a half. Two weeks. It's been been too long. Um, I'm sorry. And uh, we're here at the Cleveland Institute of Music. We are in the Patrick Audio Recording Center. This is the recording studio here at CIM. Um, I'm actually taking an audio recording class, which is why, <clears throat> excuse me, which is why I have access to this room. What's awesome is that because I'm taking the class, I can have access to this room basically anytime um, there's not a class in here and the building is open and there's no one else working here, obviously. And what's really cool is that I can just come here and just listen, jam to tunes and stuff. Uh, you see behind me, we have the console right here, the beautiful Neotech console, it's analog, but there's something about analog audio that's just, you know, satisfying, and um, a lot of people like using it. When I'm recording things, I, I like using um, analog um, equipment as well. I recently switched from my, uh, my, my recording setup back in my room. I was originally using the Audio-Technica USB uh, 2500 microphone, which is a digital microphone. Oh, I mean, it's analog and that it captures analog audio, converts it digitally, and now puts a digital signal. Um, and I just recently switched over to the K or CAD GXL2200, which is a 100% analog device. Um, which, so, um, I, I'm one of those guys that just likes the analog audio better. Um, so, yeah, so this console is analog, but it's, it's, it's a beautiful. They're actually in the process of installing a, a nice big, like, huge monitor behind the console here. Um, so you can see the computer and, like, watch movies and stuff. And that, I mean, the movies I'm kidding about, like, but I could. I could if I wanted to. Um, so yeah, I can just come in here anytime and jam, <laughs> which is pretty awesome. So, um, so, yeah, this is my first video of me actually being here at, in college. Um... So far, I'm loving it. It's 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 a lot of fun actually being on my own. It's it's significantly different, um, um, but it's something that I was ready for, and um, I'm very happy that I'm finally there or here. I guess I guess I should say. Um, and I apologize that I'm like bright red, but these lights in here are not the best. I have the lights pretty dim. You can see there's a whole bunch of them that aren't even on right now. Just pause that. Of course, there has to be an advertisement. Thanks, YouTube. It's still an advertisement. This is a long one. 15 seconds. Okay, we're back. So I got... Whoa, that's a shadow of the camera. Wow. <laughs> um, we're back. So I got... We got um, Jim Joseph Arrow playing NCS. Woo, NCS. Love NCS. Music is great on there. You can use it for whatever you want. Um, I've been using it for almost a year now. So Thanks, NCS, for being awesome. Um... So yeah, more about the studio. This is this was a, like a two million dollar studio value type thing. Got the console here behind me. We have our three main speakers, or our monitors as they're called, and each one of those are like twenty grand a piece, maybe more. Um, <laughs> so yeah, they're they're pretty awesome. And there's two more over there. There's like two subwoofers back there. There's like another one over there. This place is ridiculous. Um, and then over there we got that cabinet down there we got some converters and level meters and stuff. Got a UPS in there. There's a UPS over here too. Got a CD player. And I'm trying to see what else we got. Looks like we have some cassette players too, which is interesting. But And then we have the speaker control here. Can you see it? I'm like in a swivelly chair so it's hard to see what I'm doing. But speaker control, hooray. I can make things loud and soft if I want to. Um, I'm hoping to do some some cool things in here. Um, I'm gonna be working with the uh, electronic music guy here. Hopefully, in the future, so I can start making some more music because that's something I want to do. Not just making like mashups and remixes, 
but hopefully some original content. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, I also like to do some more live streaming um, in the future because it's fun. Um, we don't get many viewers, but that's something that we can that we can fix, I think. Um, so here's something to mark on your calendar, or on your phone, or wherever. Uh, November 5th. It's a Saturday from 9 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time to 9 o'clock a.m. Sunday Eastern Time. We'll be doing a 24-hour live stream um, at part of the Extra Life 2016 charity gaming event. I will be participating again. Um, the whole point of it is to, um, is to raise money for Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. Um, they've been doing it for several years now. They've raised like f over $40 million, which is, which is really great. Um, it's awesome. Uh, my goal for this year is 150 bucks. That's our goal. Um, well, I'm blowing up the camera. <laughs> uh, 150 bucks. That's my goal. And the only way that we can make that happen is if you guys participate. Um, I encourage all of you to come out and at least watch part of the stream. I'm not expecting you to watch for 24 hours. In fact, I think there'd be something wrong with you if you're watching for all 24 hours. But and um, but at least come out for maybe like you know maybe an hour or something. Um, and also donate like anything you donate, like even if it's a dollar. Anything helps. Even if we don't make the $150 goal, all the money that's been donated still goes to the um, network hospitals. The, the hospital I chose specifically is the Golisano Children's Hospital in Rochester, New York. Let me play another song here. Okay, um... So I, the charity I chose is the uh, Galasano Children's Hospital in Rochester, New York. It's part of the University of Rochester Medical Center. It's a uh, great hospital for children. Um, they've been making um, some crazy expansions there. Um, it's it, it's it's a huge hospital, and um, they're gladly taking donations. So anything that you guys can do uh, will be greatly appreciated. Donations are you can donate now if you wanted to. Um, the donation uh, time frame has opened. Um, I'll leave a link to the, um, my page in the description, my Extra Life page. And this is all taken care of through Extra Life, so none of the money actually goes to me and then I send it off. It goes right to Extra Life and they take care of it. So if you don't trust me, um, there's no reason not to trust me here because I'm not touching any of the money. <laughs> um, I'll be donating. Um, once we hit 25 bucks, I will donate as well. So that's an easy way to help increase our our fund. So because uh, if you guys donate, then I'll throw more in. So that's that. Uh, some of the games we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be doing a lot of Minecraft probably. I'll try to get Griffin, um, Owen, probably not Matthew. He's probably not gonna want it, but uh, Griffin and Owen. I'll try to definitely get them in. Some of Griffin's friends maybe. We'll do something in the evening with Minecraft probably. Um, then we'll, we might do some GTA in there, Shell Shock Live, things like that. Um, we may also just do like a Q&A session talking about some stuff. We'll, uh, we might have a few giveaways Ooh, for donators. Um, donators, if you donate like a certain amount, I think if, like if you donate anything, like even if it's a penny, you're, in, you're eligible for to win some fabulous prize that I have not decided yet. If you raise like 50 bucks, then you'll win something else, that kind of thing. So, um, there will be fun things for viewers to get. Um, and I'll and I'll send out more details about those specifically in a future video. Um, and I'm still debating whether or not I'm going to stream on YouTube or Twitch. Um, my, the, my Twitch streaming capabilities have been a little bit iffy over the last maybe month or so. It, it doesn't seem to be working quite right. I might need to go back and reconfigure some settings for that. So maybe we'll get it going. But if not, YouTube seems to be working great. Um, I'll also be streaming uh, through Facebook, or I'll try to do that at the same time. So I will have like a simultaneous stream. So if you want to watch on Facebook, I'll leave a link to my Facebook page in the description. Um, I'll be streaming through my personal account. But then I'll share that to the, the Dayplay's Facebook page so you can still connect to that. Um, 
And then if you guys have any like suggestions for what I, I should do during the stream, uh, leave a comment below. Tell me what you what you want to do. And I, and I read all the comments that are posted on all on all my videos. So, um, you know, it's not like I'm not gonna read it. I will read it. So and I'll and I'll listen to suggestions. Um, so once again, that's November fifth from nine a.m. to nine a.m. Um, Saturday, Sunday, Eastern Time. So, uh, you guys should definitely come check that out. It's going to be pretty darn awesome. It's going to be a good time. It's for a great cause. Once again, it's for the Extra Life Charity stream, 2016. Um, and this year, the stream will work, I promise. For those of you guys who watched last year, we had some, like, the lag was just ridiculous because my internet at home was just total crap. Um, <laughs> But here, it's like, it's like, the, the internet here is just ridiculous, like, I don't even, it's, it's hard to believe that internet can even be this fast. Um, so, so that's that. Once again, I'm in the awesome recording studio here at the Cleveland Institute of Music. Um, I hope to be doing some CIM tours, like informal, just me to you tours, show you guys around some of the cool things around the school, maybe even show you guys around the surrounding area here. Um, yeah, there's some cool places, like the Distant Learning Studio, which is actually right down the hall here. I, I walk by it to get in here. That's a pretty cool place. Uh, the control rooms for the two concert halls. I'll be working in there significantly during my, my years here. Um, so I'll show you guys those places too. And this, play, and this, and this studio is going to be getting some upgrades too, so I'll be showing you guys that as well. Um, I'm also debating whether or not in the live streams to use a green screen and green screen myself in. I'm considering that. Um, if it doesn't happen, it won't happen. I mean, I don't think we're going to be losing any, you know, any quality or content there, but we'll see. I'll, ke I'll keep you guys updated on that. Um, so I'm trying to think, is there, is there anything else I want to say to you guys? I mean, like, I, I like to say things to you guys because it's fun and um, stuff. But I think that's all I got for now. This was actually a longer video than I was planning on it being. Um, normally, I try to I, tr I try to keep things concise. Um, I, I find it a little bit more difficult to say we're gonna create longer vlogs like this. Um, but this was like about I mean, a good five minutes longer than I was expecting it to be. So I guess that's good. I guess it shows that I'm able to fill more time with me blabbing and stuff. Um, so, so yeah, uh, that's, that's, we're going to wrap it up now. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'll leave links to the, uh, Extra Life page and my Facebook page in the description for you. If you want to check those out, donate. November 5th is the stream date. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, hit that like button if this video was awesome. If it sucked, you, you know what to do, but I don't think you're going to have to do that. And, uh, if you want to see more awesome videos... Um, easy access to those videos, hit that little red button below the stream here, or below the video rather, and that will um, sign you up for no notifications when I upload videos or I'm streaming on YouTube, so check those out. Alright, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.